Our next guest is an actress and a comedian. This weekend, she'll be performing at the Atlanta Punchline. Please welcome Caroline Ray. <laughs> a huge change. The hair. The hair is I know. completely different. I know. You know what? Here's the thing. Renee Zellweger dyed her hair dark, right. right? And she gained weight for a role. And then Charlize Theron dyed her hair dark and gained weight for a role. So I went ahead and gained weight and dyed my hair, and now I'm waiting for the role. <laughs> I thought that was so Take care of that first, and the rest yeah, will come. Yeah, and then the rest will follow. Well, there's much, happy, much happiness to discuss. Uh, you have a new boyfriend in your I life. I do. I always have a new boyfriend. I... <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I'm done with you. Get out. What, 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 who's the new boyfriend? It's How's good it going? For my act. Um, he's lovely. He's mm -hmm. a comedian also. He and I are performing together at the punchline, so you'll get the he said, she said thing. Right, right. But here's the thing. Do you think you're romantic? Uh, not so much. Not so much? Yeah. yeah. Men in general, they're not so romantic. He and I, we were on vacation and in um, Anguilla. It was very beautiful. Mm -hmm. And we were on the beach, and the sun was setting, and we were walking into the water, and I turned to him and I said, that sunset is so magnificent. How can you not believe in God? And he said, oh, it's cold when the water touches your balls. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So romantic. That's the <laughs> fundamental right there difference between the man and the woman. <laughs> you see significance in God and, yeah. And he's like, oh, it's chilly. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. Did, uh, now, now, you recently had... Was, I, I'd be, I'm scared of this. I, I haven't, I'm lucky. I, I, my eyes are good. But you had to have the LASIK... Eye surgery? Is that yes, right? I did. I had the corrective laser eye surgery. Ask me how it went. How did it go? Am I looking at you now? Yeah, very nice. Is there Excuse anyone me, there? I can't see. That was the point. These <laughs> people are like, what is the point? Now, listen, don't get angry at the crowd. I'm sorry. I turned on quickly. These people, these people are given weapons before they come to the show. <laughs> so, so how does it work? I, I've never understood. They shoot lasers into your eyes. And, yeah, uh, just like a video game. They burn your eyeball off, <laughs> and you can smell it, and it's hideous. And one worked, and the other one did not so much. What do you so mean? So now... I have to wear reading glasses. Oh. Isn't that pathetic? I thought the whole point of having the laser shot in so your did eyeball. I. Yeah, yeah. And so now I knit and I wear these, and, I and my boyfriend says I look like Mrs. Claus. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, when did you A turn dark haired Mrs. Claus, <laughs> when yeah. When did you turn 90? Yeah. So do you wear them at the end of your nose and go, oh, that looks like, oh, let's watch our stories on TV? Do you do that kind of thing? <laughs> I didn't think so. Um, yeah, there you go, right on the end of your nose. That's very nice. Does it hurt when they shoot the laser into your eyeball? It hurts like hell. Are you kidding? I didn't they, know. I've never and had they to have it done. give you like a second of Valium, but then they burn your eyeball off. I don't recommend it. Can you still get the Valium? What about Is now? It... Am I looking at you now, Conan? Mm, yeah. What about now? Huh? Are we making eye contact? Okay, the audience is getting furious now. <laughs> I did it twice, and it bombed both yeah. times. No, I'm going it didn't. for a third time. Conan, am I looking at you now? <laughs> Now. now it's working. Go. You hosted. Conan, yes. I was just recent. Are you there? Yeah, uh, I'm right Conan, over here. I See? <laughs> See? See? <laughs> we have something in code. We both work for NBC. You hosted uh, this NBC show, The Biggest Loser. Yes, I did. Yeah, it's, did you have you enjoyed the experience so far? I have. It, it was an enormous success, and everyone got very skinny, mm -hmm. and they all weigh less than me now. It's very depressing. But um, the show is called The Biggest Loser, but people come up to me and they go, I love your show, The Big Fat Loser. And I'm like, you know what? There's no fat in the title. Okay? Yeah. And then I was at, when the show had aired like one episode, and I was at a club, Cobbs, in San Francisco, right, and there was right. a big marquee, and it said, Caroline Ray's, no, it said, The Biggest Loser's Caroline Ray. <laughs> and I was like, it hasn't aired yet. People just think I'm an idiot. Yeah, yeah. Do you ever watch The Bunny Ranch on HBO? No, can't say I... Okay, only one dirty girl in the audience. Here's the show. What's the bunny ranch? And it's not First just about all, a ranch for bunnies. No, I'm, I'm guessing there's, a, there's another thing here. I have to on. tell you, I'm obsessed with prostitutes. I don't know why. <laughs> I... Well, now we can talk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, <laughs> something we can agree on. You um, tell your horror story and then I'll go. <laughs> Yours would probably be so much more awkward than mine. Yeah. Anyway, so, um, mine ended in crying. <laughs> and it's me. I'm sorry, I got scared. <laughs> Just cheers streaming down my face. You're what the prostitutes like to call cash up front. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it is. So here's the thing.
thing, these prostitutes are gorgeous and they have the most unbelievable bodies. And if I look like that, I would not be a prostitute. I would be a dancer. Well. Um, yeah. <laughs> I can go down the pole, but I have a bad knee, so I couldn't get back up. So that would be awkward. <laughs> I'd have to give back like 50 cents. Like, I'm not coming back up, buddy. Just yeah. here you go. But, you just lie there as they filed out of the club. That'd yeah. be nice. That'd be a nice thing. Get yeah. the lights. As if I were bicycling up a hill. Yeah. Okay. So, um, I, his dirty joke I was calling back to. Here, my imaginary. Am I looking at Jason mm, now? Yeah. I can't see. Is Jason's he here? still here, yeah. <laughs> So the bunny okay. ranch. What okay. is the bunny ranch? Well, for those of you who aren't in government, it's a brothel, which means that you pay for sex. Right. So, um, <laughs> two people are in government. Thank you. Okay. So the people, they film people going in and making deals with prostitutes about what they want, you know, to right. have happen. Okay. Right. So I don't know how. We're going to, you have to help me euphemistically. So this couple go in and it's their anniversary and the guy has like this really dirty goat voice. Like he's like, I want you to do something really, really, really nasty. And I was like, give that man some hay. <laughs> anyway, so the prostitute's like, yeah. And he goes, I, 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 I want to have sex with you from behind. He said it in a much dirtier way. Right, right. And, um, and the prostitute's like this, like, woo, like crazy exciting. Like, I haven't done that 14 times today, but okay. Right, right. And, um, They're never impressed with oh, what no. people think is crazy. Yeah. Exactly. And then I'd be what like, I, so I've heard, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I've been told. Yeah. They're never impressed. Yeah. <laughs> you were probably like, I, I want to turn the lights <laughs> <Yeah>. on. <laughs> anyway, um, <laughs> hold my hand. <laughs> No, you were probably like, let's get a drink. Oh, I, hey, now, let's settle down here. You, I'm going to draw the line at a certain point. No, you were probably like, let's get undressed and watch my show. <laughs> anyway, okay. Were so, you in a closet? Where were <laughs> how, did you, yeah. how did you know? <laughs> and you're like, wait for this part. And you're like, okay. <laughs> So I'm watching, and the, the guy says, and, and it was his anniversary. Right. So he says, I, I want to have sex with you from behind. And then he goes, but at the same time, I want you to have sex with my wife with an apparatus. Right, right. You know right. what I'm talking about? No. Uh, <laughs> yes. Yes. I've, yes, yes, yes. You know, everyone knows. A, a, a toy, a device, yes. Rhymes with pildo? Yes. Okay, got it. Okay. okay. So, um... You know, the, the censor left during the Jason, during the Jason Bateman segment, so that's how we're getting away with all this now. They caught fire and ran out of the building, so we can just go now. It doesn't matter. So rhymes with Bilbo. Thank you. Um, Close enough. So um, anyway, so I am sitting there, and, and it's, it's funny that there are varying degrees of things that gross you out about this show, right? Right, right. So I am sitting there. My mouth is, like, fallen open. I'm like... And I turn to my boyfriend and I go, that is so disgusting. And he goes, which part? Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> and I said, his mullet. Is <laughs> <laughs> That's what you take offense to. <laughs> That's what you take offense to. That's what me. It's the eyes have gone. Your peepers have gone south. Connor, right. you were fantastic. Yeah, you were thank really you. good. <laughs> Well, Caroline's going to be performing at the Atlanta Punchline February 13th through the 15th. And look for Caroline's upcoming HBO special. Yes. And yeah. Biggest Loser 2. And I put up four. All right. And biggest Loser. Check it out. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. You always do great. Caroline Ray will be right back. Robert Randolph from the Family Band. We're back. 